We'd like to thank Audible for supporting PBS. Hey, I'm Diana. I'm here with a very special- ah! Hey, I'm Diana. You're here watching- <laughs> Hey, I'm Diana. You're watching Physics Girl. I'm here with a very special guest. I just seen- She's- ah! Ah! Oh, Go ahead. No! The person that I'm clearly torturing in that video is Justine. She's a tech YouTuber. She's been on the internet forever. She does phone reviews and the occasional cooking video. I don't know what came over me, but I just wanted to bring her scary science experiments. She told me at some point that she doesn't get scared easily, and I thought, sounds like a challenge. If I oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with I, Justine, and it's off. It's you guys. I don't, oh God, I don't know. I, um, we were talking, she's like, oh, do you get scared very easily? I'm like, no, absolutely not. And then you bring this over. <laughs> Shout out to Justine's channel, I Justine. Go check it out after. But while we have her captive, we started where all spooky videos should start. Um, I brought some dry ice. Okay, I love dry ice. ice. How do you feel about nails on a chalkboard? I don't like it. Great. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so go ahead and touch the dry ice right there in the middle with the spoon. Oh my gosh. Oh! Don't you dare! Fork was terrible! That was the best reaction I, I could have had. Traumatized. Let's look in here. Oh! Ah! The scream happens because the relatively hot fork turns the dry ice straight from a solid into a gas really, really quickly. The CO2 expands really fast and pushes the fork away. But then you're pressing it down so it goes back on to the dry ice and then it'll push it away and back and forth. And that sort of vibrating back and forth will make it scream. This only works with thermally conductive materials like metal. Feel it, feel the metal now. Yeah, it feels it's really cold. These materials, like metal, heat up the dry ice very quickly, but in turn become very, very cold. I was trying not to do this when yeah. I was starting. You can see it vibrating. No way. Yeah. And you can also see that carbon dioxide, like which way is it going? Yeah, it looks like it's going, it's going down. Down, yeah. Since the gas is more dense than the air, yeah. if you carefully pick up the bowl, you can pour that into the candle. No way, that'd be so cool. <laughs> let's light it back up. <laughs> this is my favorite reaction when it's like, let's do it again. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it'll go out in there. <laughs> That's so great. Okay. Oh, it's, it's so awful. Good. Justine was doing so well until I brought out my favorite piece of physics equipment. This metal bowl. Just kidding. The Van de Graaff generator. That's all. Whoa, whoa, okay. What? Wait, I turn around and there's a time machine. This only produces 300,000 volts. I'm, I'm afraid to even touch it. <laughs> okay. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling weird! Already? Yes! <laughs> We haven't even started the video. <laughs> Actually, like if you use your knuckle, it's not so, yeah, so bad. If you, if you use your oh. knuckle. Woo. Oh gosh. You can do it. Oh, I feel like I can feel. Oh, why? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it went through my whole body. <laughs> okay, scale of one to 10. <laughs> okay, the, it was like 45. <laughs> I think I want you to maybe close your eyes. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Open your eyes. This <laughs> Are you cooking her? There we go. There's some good sparks. Oh my gosh. Did you feel that? Like, I just feel bit? it inside of my body. Yeah, like, my yeah. jaw is tingling. Like, <laughs> what is this? This is called a Van de Graaff generator. Oh. On the outside of this metal sphere, it's such a high charge. It's like 350,000 volts. The generator causes static positive charges to build up on the doll's hair, but positive charges repel each other. So each one of the individual strands of hair wants to get further away from the other strands, so they stand up. They fly apart. They want to get away from each other, essentially. Like if I cut the hairs of this doll, they would fly off. Some of these charges are coming off into the air and we're feeling them on ourselves. I'm feeling a lot of things right now. <laughs> we tried to get our hair to stand up, but it may have been too humid for it to work. But what did work was Van de Graaff levitation. Wait, there's more? There's I thought more. we were done. Can you give us a little demo yes. of the pro unboxing? <laughs> These are pie tins here. It's kind of like baking with electricity. Yes. All right. No way. <laughs> this is really incredible. This is so great. 
I promise. I've lost Look all of my faith in you now. <laughs> the finale in my quest to scare Justine involved a plasma ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this doll. Oh, yeah. This is my creation. The creepiest thing I've ever seen. So I gouged out her eyes. <laughs> and I put some red tape over them. <laughs> and then I cut off her head. <laughs> and I... This is not normal. And I stuck a fluorescent light bulb up inside of her head so that when <laughs> so that when you bring the tube near the plasma ball, it'll cause the eyes to light up. This is the weirdest one. All right, so I've got this doll that I brought you. I'm just gonna bring it close to. <gasps> oh my, what is this? That is super creepy. What have you done? Creepiness factor. Th this skills. is probably your creepiest. This is just like a normal fluorescent light bulb. Whoa! Oh, that's cool! Yeah, isn't that cool? That's crazy. So yeah. So how is this happening? So, let me repeat. The light bulb in the doll's head is not connected to anything. It's just inside the doll and it turns on when we place the doll near the plasma ball. You don't even have to be touching it. The way this all works is that the center of a plasma ball has a lot of electrical energy in the form of an alternating voltage. But some of the energy escapes and smacks into the gas inside the fluorescent light bulb, knocking off electrons from the atom in there and in the process emitting light. This is something I'll never forget. Who could forget? I wish that I could. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I mean, the MVP right here is Justine. It was just great to see your reactions to the creepy stuff, but also like how cool you thought the science was. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. thanks for bringing me into your world. Go check out the video on her channel. We made a video where we tried a bunch of kids' science kits that you can get off the internet, including digging for gems out of a out of a plaster gem set. I'll link to Justine's video in the description and in the end cards and so forth. Let me know if you guys like this format where we have a guest on and we bring them into our world of physics and if there's any guests anyone specific you'd like to see on physics girl thanks so much for watching and happy physics oh no lost my microphone i'd like to thank audible for supporting pbs audible's collection of audiobooks includes audible originals audio titles created by storytellers from around the literary world for example you could check out the three day effect an audiobook all about how spending more time out in nature is better for your health and happiness you could even listen to it while walking outside. For more information, go to audible.com slash physicsgirl or text physicsgirl to 500-500. Members own their own books and can access them anytime. For more information, go to audible.com slash physicsgirl or text physicsgirl to 500-500. <laughs>